Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the ForexPisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody guys, today we'll take a look at the uh, Great British Pound because on the euro currency we discussed everything, we wait for a pullback, we wait for a directional pattern on a daily chart uh, that should trigger this pullback because market stands still in a more extended position, it's uh, actually above the weekly over body area and that's definitely not the point where we intend to take the long position. Besides today we will get the interest rate decision and what's more interesting is the press conference from the Fed where they should announce some hints on some vision on the perspective of the United States economy and everybody will uh, mostly looking for any shadow of the hint on the possible tightening of the policy because currently we see the dollar devaluation as you could see this expressing its reflects in the price of the stocks and the price of the commodities uh, nobody talks about it but this is the, r the result this is actually, guys, hidden inflation, where the real inflation with statistics you have the near the zero, but in fact, inflation shows in the price appreciation across the board of different goods and uh, commodities, stocks, market. That's actually the part of this appreciation is growing of the global economy, demand recovery uh, after the pandemic, but another part. It definitely stands not for 30, 60 percent that already have been played back by the oil markets. And there definitely stands some part of the hidden devaluation in the United States dollar. So, uh, well, that's why the Fed speech today will be very interesting and I suppose it's, it will be important for the market. First, let's take a look. Uh, I, I would like to make one adjustment to our euro analysis. Uh, if, you rem if, if you remember, um, two days ago we talked about possible brand body buy. It's moving right down to 30% support, 1187, but this hasn't happened, guys. Market turns up. It, it means that we slightly will change the pattern that we're watching for, and probably those of you who are familiar with the Jordan Napoli framework probably understand what I mean here. So, as market is turning to upper direction, well, Maybe we will get the brand battle as well, but currently it seems that's more probable that we could get double repo, guys. Because market stands at the bad on the weekly chart at resistance, and uh, here is also weekly period resistance one. The market could slightly, trying to move slightly above this top, grabbing the stops above it, and then we could get fast collapse. So theoretically, here, market could form the double repo. So. It doesn't change the idea of the price action. I mean, it should be down and then up. Everything stands the same. But just change the background of this action. So it could be not based on the brand body and some ABCD passion, but it could be double repo and direct drop right to the support. So this will be just different way how market uh, will behave. That's uh, the one thing that I would like to tell on a euro account situation. But in general, well, we do not see any drastic change to overall training plan that we have. Now let's take a look what we have from the Great British Pound. The Great British Pound shows good performance. It moves above this top. It means that weekly confidence of the 125, 126 area has been broken. And take a look that this has been broken without any response, actually. This was my reaction here. So our idea with the possible hand and shoulders has not been, has not been formed. So because market hasn't shown any reaction on the confidence resistance and it hasn't formed any right arm of this potential passion, so you could, could call it as a cup on the handle, so traders call it differently. Uh, but anyway, we, don't, we, we haven't got any pullback and market is moving directly to the COP target. But you should not upset with that because we our chance still exists and we will get the cable on the good price as opposed with the high probability this will happen. Because if we'll take a look at the weekly chart, you'll see that 129 is a weekly everybody as well, same as on the ER. And here we have agreement resistance case. This is very important FIB level, I will show you. It's actually weekly FIB level, I won't 
doesn't match to the daily chart, only the weekly chart you could see it. That from that reaction point, this is very significant for rusting action. Uh, well, it's probably largest within the few years on the cables. It's a lot. I don't remember what will, what has happened in June of the 2016, but that was really big collapse here. Uh, and that's reaction point. So this level is very important. We have, let's see in the weekly chart you could see, we were already standing the CD lag of this uh, continuation. So we, here you definitely could see on the weekly chart this A, B, C, D passion. OP target stands 133. That's our major uh, primary target. This is a secondary target where markets comes to. This is COP, 128.30. And uh, here's also stands weekly over bot and, and agreement resistance, as I said. That's why it's really, really big chances that we see the some pullback. Maybe even Fed Reserve will trigger some reaction for tell something today. But pullback should happen. This pullback probably will be not less than 30%. So market could retest its 126, 125 area that has been broken. Because that is former confluence, that is previous tops, and usually when the market passed through the confluence as it now existed, usually tends to return back and retest them. This happens very often. So that's I think we could use as the basic scenario for our current situation on the cable. It means that, well, we will get the position if it will be the pullback somewhere around 25, 26 area, very good position with a possible perspective on 133 target. Um, I think that's really nice. So uh, on the follow time frame chart, you could see support levels of this recent upward action. Mm. That's the levels that we have. And you can see that around 25, we have confidence support. It's 24.77, 25 or 8 is confidence support that we could keep an eye on. Here is also, you could see that something is growing, it's a divergence is forming, but uh, well, divergence is not enough here because market hasn't reached yet the major target. So diver divergence is, is a, the secondary indicator. You could use it as additional tool uh, to see the, uh, the reliability of the signal that you have on the market. I usually use divergence only around major targets and major FIB levels. I don't use it them, don't rely on them uh, in the way the market stands in some free space without any uh, support or resistance areas. Um, so, but anyway, well, we have here it's with the May CD, some kind of the divergence. Uh, on the hourly chart, I'm not sure, guys, but maybe we will get this kind of action. Here's we have the widening triangle, widening top, and you can see here is definitely bullish sign. So market hasn't reached the opposite border, turns in the middle of the triangle, and return it back up to this resistance. One six one eight extension of this butterfly, steep butterfly stands around 2840 that agrees with the daily COP target. Maybe we'll get this passion. So if you already have bull, uh, long positions, well, you stand in, in perfect shape, uh, nothing you should do. Just uh, be aware of the target and resistance that you have above the market currently. So think how you will manage your position. If you would like to take the long position but you do not have it, uh, you need to wait when the market will hit major target on a daily chart and then turn to retracement and the bottom of this retracement will be the point where you need to consider taking the long position for the bearers is the same if you have the bearish you would like to short the cable you have to wait when the target will be hit 2830 will be hit then you have to wait for a clear bearish reversal pattern on the fall diaphragm chart on the hourly chart and only when you have it you could try to take the short position, probable target will be the same, it's around 28, 25 area. So that's the tabs that we have on the cable count. So we do not have something that to do immediately, but in the perspective of the few sessions, this could be interesting situation here as well.